Hey everybody, welcome to Explore and Traverse. My name is Mike, I'm your host. Uh, if you get any value and content from this, remember to hit that like and subscribe button. So let's get started. Today we're gonna to be talking about making a girth hitch anchor or an anchor with a girth hitch as the master point. Uh, before I get started, I want you guys to know that you should be doing all of this in the safety of your home and learning it before you actually go out and do it outside. Just so that you know the concepts, research it beforehand. I'm just one sort of source of material. So remember there's a lot out there, do your research. Let's get started. I'm gonna take one 60 centimeter sling. It's eight millimeters wide, it's Dyneema. And I'm gonna clip it in to one of my bolts. Clip it into the other locker and I have the start of my anchor. I'm gonna take a locking carabiner. I'm gonna place it through the locking carabiner. I'm gonna pull the sling around and pull it up top. And we have ourselves a girthed hitch anchor. Girth hitch anchor, anchor with a girth hitch, whatever you wanna call it. This is a super simple, easy anchor to make. The other good thing about it is it, it's really easy to deconstruct. Another great thing about it too is it's very adjustable. Let's say I make it and I'm like, ah, you know what? That climber's coming way over there. It's really easy to just loosen the knot. The hitch actually, it's a hitch, it's not a knot. I'm gonna feed some uh, sling through, pull it around, pull it through, and guess what? It's more over there now. So this is a good anchor to make. It's really easy to construct, deconstruct, like I said. One of the biggest issues is a lot of people are concerned whether if this end breaks or that end, whether the hitch will hold. This is where it gets fun because I'm gonna be one testing it out and you're gonna be watching. So uh, you don't have to do this research unless you want and uh, let's get started with it. Hey everybody, I got myself hooked up to the skirt hitch. Up here I have a scaffold knot connected with a mooring hitch. That way I can quick release this and we can see if this girth hitch holds. Now if you're wondering, am I touching the ground? I am not. So we'll see what happens. I'll be your guinea pig and uh, yeah, we'll make it work. Um, kind of nervous to do this in a control setting still, but let's do it, okay. It holds! I survived to do another episode. You guys are stuck with me. Thanks for watching this episode. Uh, if you got any value content, you know, like, subscribe, all that stuff. Join us next time. Thanks for joining, guys. 